I have 48 hours to get Dior Jordan 1s, but there's a few rules. Number one, I can only trade sneakers that I have personally to get these shoes. Rule number two, if I don't trade to the Dior Jordan 1 lows within 48 hours, I have to give away every shoe that I successfully get on the trade up until that point. So if we have five shoes that we're trading for, if I only get three or four of them, then I have to give all three or four of those away, and that can be $4,000 to $5,000 worth of shoes. I called a local store who has a pair of Dior Jordan 1 lows in a size 9.5 U's, and they have about about $4,800. All right, so I just FaceTimed David from a quest and David I saw on your guys website that you have a Dior Jordan 1 low that's used in a nine and a half I believe and we want to trade in 48 hours for that pair so I wanted to see if there were five pairs of shoes you could come up with that we could trade you for that specific shoe straight trade is it possible I can make something work I asked them what specific shoes that they need for me to trade for those Dior Jordan 1s and I have to hunt over the next 48 hours for those five specific pairs so here they are what do we need to get you in order to get those Dior Jordan 1 lows. I'm gonna need either the black or the cream off by fives. Okay. Some Tiffany's. The new Air Force Ones, okay. Any assortment of the Travis Lowe's, whichever one you find. See if you can find me one of these. Okay, the Brooklyn's, all right. You can pick between the two. It is gonna be a Harito. All right. Or pine Green SB4. Okay, I think that's doable. So we have 48 hours. Right now it's two o'clock on Monday. Two o'clock on Wednesday. We will have those five pairs for you, and you will trade for the Dior Jordan 1 Lowe's. It'll be all yours. All right. We'll make sure they're at that store, because we're going to be there 48 hours. Thank you, David. We'll be checking in soon. All right. We just got the shoes, so we're going to start the countdown. It is 2.13 p.m. on Monday, June 12th. So we have two days, Wednesday at 2 o'clock. We have to go ahead and get them the shoes. So let's get started and see if we can find these shoes. So now that the timer started and we have our shoes here, I do actually have some of the shoes ready to trade that they want, but I don't know if it's gonna work. So we have these Brooklyn Off-White Air Force Ones and in a size 11, but they are used. I don't know if they want a used pair, so that is a problem. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna call him once we get out and about um, and, and check for those. We do have a pair of Jaritos SBs and Pine Green SBs, but the Jaritos are a giveaway pair for you guys. And then the SB4s are personal that are used, so I'm not getting rid of those. So the only one that we may have locked is the Brooklyn's, but that may not work. I'm gonna text him and find out, but let's go ahead and load these up. We gotta get going because it's two o'clock, we got 48 hours. We're gonna head to a first store and just pop in and see if they have anything and then start FaceTiming some stores and see if they have what we need. All right, we just got over to the first spot. It's been about 30 minutes, so we're just trying to make some uh, make some movement here, but we're headed to a showroom. We're gonna walk in and see if they have any pairs and then if they do, we're gonna ask they to come out to our car and check out what we have to potentially trade, even though that might sound weird to come to my car, but uh, we're gonna see uh, see what they got in there and let's hope, they, they gotta have like a Travis Jordan 1 or something. They have to, there's, there's no way they don't. All right, we're in showroom now, let's go inside. So, what's up? All right, we're on a time crunch today and we're on a mission. Time crunch. We have to find some pairs of shoes, so we're gonna have to look around real quick and see if we can find them in your store. All right, immediately we see these. These two, we need at least one of those. And we have a Travis Black Phantom. Oh, they got, you guys got all the Travises. That's what we need. Travises, we could potentially knock out two. Do you guys have Brooklyn Air Force Ones, Tiffany Air Force Ones, or Haritos? We had Brooklyn's. We have yet, yet to get a pair of Haritos. Okay, wow. Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany's. Tiffany's. We had Tiffany's. We had, they're gone. Yeah. All right, well, that's good. So we're trying to find five specific pairs. We have 48 hours to find them. You have a couple that could work out. That would be either one of the Jordan 5 off-whites. We're looking for those. And any of the uh, Travis Scott Jordan 1 lows. The caveat for us in getting these is we have to trade with the pairs of shoes that we have. So we brought like 20 pairs of shoes in my car. We're gonna try to do some trading with. Would you guys be down to see if you up for some trades for some of these? Yeah, sure. sure. All right, so I'm trying to think, should we pick out the pairs and then maybe we can go out to the car? One of you guys come with and check out what we got. Yeah. Actually, which one of these would you guys rather let go for a trade? Uh, that one's a VNDS pair. The sales of VNDS, yes. eight men, okay. and then 11 and a half men is the Muslin. That's a DS pair. DS. I think they might want DS. Definitely need the new yeah. one. Yeah. So we'll we'll try to go for the DS. So we'll do that. So we can get just so we can get a good value of what we need. Do you have multiple sizes, or these are only ones of oh, these pairs? Point. Out of all of those, the Phantom is the cheapest. So I don't know if they're thinking about value or if they just want the shoe. True, we could finesse that exactly, way. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Because they they said any Travis. What do you have these? What are these roughly going to be at? Eight, and then these are gonna probably be like 1100, yeah. 1200. Cool. Let's try that. Black Phantoms and the 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 uh, black pair of the Off White Fives. Somebody said they were coming to get these today, but hey. I don't know. Hey man, first it's, come, first it's two, 245, so. 
Okay. All right, let's put these up and then we'll take you out to the car and see if, if you like anything. gonna knock off one shoe on our list, so thank you for that. Of course. Appreciate it. It's a nice uh, tube. Yeah, those are good. I need them. Sweet, we'll, we'll lock it Probably in. My favorite shoe. Boom. Thank you, appreciate it. So we will, uh, if you guys around, we'll let you know if we find any pairs that you need, but uh, appreciate it as always. Of course. And we'll, uh, hopefully we got, we got 46 and a half more hours left, so. <laughs> Hurry. See if we can do this, let's go. Good luck. Okay, so we got one pair off the list that's done, and it's been, uh, how much time? It's been an hour, so 47 hours left, that's good. But uh, it seems easy, but the problem is gonna be these stores are far away. We're gonna have to drive like 45 minutes an hour to go to the next door, and they might not have it. And the one that we traded was the potential that we could actually use towards this, but it was used, so I don't know. But this is a good one, we got it. One checked off the list. Let's keep moving and head to the next store and try to get the next ones. One thing to remember also is when it's 48 hours, these stores close at like seven o'clock. So we're really working with like, 16 hours because the stores are only open for 16 hours out of the 48 hours. So Sometimes they're only open for like four or five. Four or five hours, yeah. So we gotta work. All right, guys, it's time for a brand new giveaway for the Nike SB Jaritos. The rules are very, very simple. Number one, subscribe to this YouTube channel down below. Number two, follow at Harrison Neville over on Instagram. Number three, comment on the picture that's on my Instagram that you'll see on the screen and tag two friends on that photo. And I'll be picking the winner in three weeks from today and pick a pair in your size. Really cool pair. Make sure you don't miss out. So we're sitting in the car and we're running into an issue on day one because Right now, we're like an hour or so in. These stores, some of the cl stores close in two hours, and the majority of the stores are in the city, but if we head towards the city now, it's gonna take us about 50 minutes to get there. We and might then, be lucky to hit one store. One store, and then we have to go back down and do it all again tomorrow. So the best bet might be to go tomorrow and get, we can get like four or five stores, literally in that whole circle, and start at like 10 a.m., but then that's gonna cut half of this challenge and today we've only hit one because we we're supposed to start earlier so we're trying to figure out like one more store we can go to that's before because these stores close at like five six o'clock so it's like three three thirty right now pinched ourselves being this late we turned this into a harder challenge than it needed to be we we were gonna have it done like ready in the morning but we had to wait for the to get the shoes so that's why it took so long so the store uh atl addictions they said they only take new trades so i'm about to send them a picture of these new ones and see um, if you'd be interested. That'll help us save time, because if we drive there and they don't want anything, it's gonna be rough. So we just ran back to the warehouse because we're realizing that these stores need more than kind of, they need more new than used, and we brought a lot of used, so we need to pull out some more out of inventory that we're gonna use. And so I definitely think we have like two lost and founds, and I think lost and founds are one that people definitely would want. Um, these ones are size eight and a half. These are dead stock, so this would be good. We need to bring more popular pairs like this. That's like the biggest thing. We have some crap fours. We'll do, we'll bring these, some crap fours. So that'd be good. And I think one more of like these right here, like dunks and some ones. They don't love ones and dunks. They got a lot of those. So I'm thinking that we got a pair of reimagined threes. This is the last pair we have. This is a size 10, men's 10. So I think these three should help us. There are some stores that will take used, but for the ones that only take new, we need more. I think we might be able to check these off the list because this is my personal size 11. We're giving away a pair of these, like I said, but we're not giving this pair away, we're giving away your size. So if we can't get one in a trade today, I think this is fair game because we have them in the collection already. And none of these freaking stores have these. They're sold out everywhere. So I think that could work, but we're gonna wait just a little bit. We're not gonna do that just yet. We're gonna try to get them on trade, but I think it's fair to use these. 
for that. Especially when that shoe and the Jordan 4 SB are the most impossible shoes to get right now. Literally, and that's all these stores want. They want what we're trying to get. And so, yeah, that's a tough part. I'm still talking with one of the stores, ATL Addictions. They just told me that they're renovating half the store and they don't have the shoes there that we need for the video. So this is harder than I thought. All right, so I just got home. We were about four hours into this challenge. I'm gonna call it quits for the day just because all the stores are already closed. It's six o'clock now and uh, I can't really get in any stores. So we're gonna start fresh in the morning and try to aim for five or six stores tomorrow and try to get it done because Wednesday, we have to go in the morning to do the trade. So we have to get this done tomorrow. We'll catch up with you in the morning, maybe when I'm making some breakfast and then uh, start this challenge, keep it going for 48 hours. Breakfast is done. It is 7.09. I'm getting started pretty early today because we have to get a ton of filming done today. This is the day where everything has to get done. So made some breakfast. We're getting ready to go here in a little bit. If you're curious, I make egg white avocado toast for breakfast every single day and it's on whole wheat bread. So we have roughly 30 hours left in this challenge. It's the next morning and we're about to head out and start the day. Now we have three pairs left. We completed two different pairs of shoes. We still need the Brooklyn Air Force Ones, the Tiffany Air Force Ones, as well as a pair of Travis Scott's. I think the Travis Scott's are going to be the easiest of the bunch and the hardest is going to be the brooklyn's to find a store with a pair so we're going to do some uh, digging today heading down to the city and going to be in there all afternoon so we're going to pick up nick and then head down there and uh get ready for this day All right, so it's 10 a.m. We basically have 28 hours-ish left, but in reality, we really have to the end of today when the stores close at six o'clock because we have to go tomorrow morning to get the shoes and they open. So we only really have like eight hours of today to get these trades done. Now we have three shoes left. I've been asking around. The only lead that I have so far is uh, Tiffany Air Force Ones and that's at um, one of the stores at Static. So we still, the Travis's we can get at any store, but the Brooklyn's are where I'm, I'm struggling. I found a used pair but I, I got, actually, I'm gonna text David right now and say, can it be used or not? And then we'll go from there. So we know that they have the Tiffany Air Force Ones here, smaller size, not sure if the size matters in this scenario, but I wanna be strategic with what I bring in there and bring in some of the used pairs because I think that they'll take them rather than all the new, like the best new stuff. So I'm gonna try that and see if he wants them and then we'll, we'll come back out and grab some more if uh, that's not the case. Obviously, you're looking for the Tiffany's. I know you have a smaller size. So we're, we're basically trying to trade and get certain pairs, and that's one that we want. So we have, I have more pairs in the car, but I want to just bring some of them to see if uh, these might be good enough to trade for, you know, those Tiffany's. We have some new, some used, some different pairs. Hold off on these. Pass on these ones? Yeah. Yeah. Size. Uh, can you do these four for the Tiffany? Let's see, Look at those. Uh, off -wide, no box. Yeah, that should work. I think we can do that. So, those four the Tiffany's. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, let's uh, right. let's lock that in. That knocks off one off our list. So we have two pairs left. I feel like we got some of the easier pairs now. Um, we have to get Brooklyn Air Force Ones brand new. Oh. That's tough. All right, cool, Con. Thank you. That was quick and easy. And uh, we'll see you next time. Appreciate right, you guys. See you, guys. Right, see you, Nick. So it's 1111 right now. The rest of the stores are open until about 12, but we knocked off the third shoe. So we have two left. Every store that I message does not have Brooklyn's. So I don't know what we're gonna do because we only have, we roughly have about five, six hours left. And none of the stores we message have the Brooklyn's. This is about to get very, very stressful. Okay, so we have 24 hours left in this challenge. We are down to the wire here. 24 hours left until the challenge officially ends. We have about five hours until the sneaker store closes, so we have to get two more pairs. If you don't know, we have three pairs total right now. We have the Tiffany Air Force Ones, we have the Jordan 5 Off-Whites, and then we also have the Rito Nike SBs. We have two left, which is gonna be a Off-White Air Force One, as well as Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low, which should be the easiest. The Brooklyn Off-Whites are gonna be the hardest to get for this challenge, so I'm pretty, pretty nervous about that. We wanna call David from Request, who has these Dior Jordan 1s, and get an update from him and see. We wanna figure out if we can use some U shoes or if they have to be new. All right, we got an update for you. So we're about a day away and uh -huh. we have three of the shoes. So oh. we found three, we have two left. 
Okay. Um, all the ones we've gotten so far are dead stock, but I have a question. Do they all need to be dead stock? Is that a part of it? That's what I was wondering. Hmm. Yes, they all need to be dead stock. Okay. If the Brooklyn's is, if you only want the Brooklyn's, right, or you wouldn't want the yellow pair if as a separate, or is it just the Brooklyn's? The yellow pair can work too. Yellow yeah. pair can work, okay. Any of the, just like the Travis Lowe's, any of the off-white forces can work. Whichever okay. Wing from. Okay, perfect. Well, uh, we're gonna get going. We got a little bit of time left, and uh, we're gonna make this happen. But thanks for thanks for the update. All right, brother. Good luck. I'll see you guys all in right. a little bit. All right. All right, man. We're waiting for one of the stores to open. That's this. A lot of this stuff has been waiting game, and so I'm texting some store owners right now. I found a pair at one of the stores we go to that I believe to be DS size ten and a half. Have this. That could be a good lead. I don't know if Full Circle has any of the shoes that we need. We only need two, but we're gonna go in and we may try to trade some of the stuff that we have. Um, for some better things for another trade. But one of the stores, High Stakes, has a pair of Travis Reverse, no, Travis Fragment Lows, but they went $1,700. Most of these other pairs are like $1,400 to $1,100. Or oh, we just text me back. Let's see. They are sold. Dang. That was a good lead, and it's gone. We just want to pop in real quick and see if you guys have some certain pairs that we're looking for. They might open up now for us. I know we can get a Travis, the place we were just at has Travis Lowe's. We wanted to wait and try another store. We may have to, I don't want to go back there, but we may have to go back there. Um, shoot, we're still waiting for the store to open. I just got a text that the first store we went to said they have a DS yellow off-white Air Force One. But they didn't really, oh, the, they didn't really want all the shoes that we had. So we need to go in here and trade for some stuff so we can get the yellow from them. And that can work. And then the Travis Lowe's, they also have, but that'll be getting three pairs from one store. I don't know if I want to do that. But I hope they have Travis Lowe's in here. And then, but if not, we're going to trade for some stuff. So we're making deals. Let's go. I just asked the guys at showroom who have the yellow pair what shoes that they want on trade for this pair because that's the problem that we're ha gonna have because they didn't want m much of the stuff that we had. And as of right now, if we fail the challenge, you guys get a pair of Haritos, you get a pair of Tiffany Air Force Ones, and you get a pair of Jordan 5 Off-White. So we got it. That's some. That's a good amount of money in shoes right there to give away. So we gotta we gotta get this done. One of the employees came over, he's waiting for it to open, and uh, they have zero. Every single pair we asked if they had, they didn't have. SB4s, Haritos. So I talked to the guy who has the yellow Air Force One. He said he wants SB4s and Haritos are new SBs. They have older SBs, no newer SBs. We go in there or is it like? I think we should at least maybe see what they have real quick on the wall and then we could do it. I'll send some pictures to the guy uh, who has the yellow pair to see. I thought we'd be done by now. This is actually getting more and more difficult. This is by far the hardest challenge we've ever had, by far. Oh, but it's landing tomorrow. You don't have a yellow off-white Air Force One, do you? Yellow, I don't. They are sold. Dang. That was a good lead. We are down to one shoe left. 